Hello everyone and welcome back to our show. I'm Colleen Yates with Regional Development Australia Perth and today we have a special edition for you. Many of you have uh, uh, sent in uh, responses about one of our past shows with Top EV Racing and Michael uh, Fragamini. So what we did is we went out to his shop and took a look at exactly what he was doing with his drag car. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting and we hope that you enjoy it. So let's go take a look. Hello to everyone out there. Welcome back to the show. And as you have all requested, um, we're back speaking with Michael Fragamini and uh, taking a look actually in his facility here where he has been working on the technology for his drag car. So Michael, it's been a while, so a little while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How, how have you been? Yeah, really good. Yes. Uh, some interesting things have been going on. We've been continuing development of the race car and the, uh, the, the general racing tech that's in the car and aerodynamics. Um, and the biggest project in all of these projects is uh, the motor and the battery systems yeah. and they've been developing quite nicely. So uh, in the last uh, few months, we've uh, stepped into production of the motor um, and we hopefully will have it spinning in February or March at this point. Um, and uh, yeah, test rigs around that, uh, yeah, and the instrumentation and, and measuring Fantastic. devices around that. So. so this is the first time I've actually seen the whole car like in Car-ing one piece. together, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the timeline that you've got in terms of actually getting it on the road? So first things first is to get uh, the, the energy systems working mm -hmm. and getting them safe and tested in-house here. Uh, once we get to that point, we'll have an event and we'll invite everyone in, yourself and, and the viewers, and you can see the car working on the spot, and then we'll announce our time to uh, hit the racetrack and start testing on the racetrack. Brilliant, so um, with the, the, the batteries, because uh, I know we've spoken a lot about uh, lithium batteries and cell technology and all of that in the past, uh, where are you at with that? And how, how are batteries actually gonna fuel this this well, all up, there's about 20 kilowatt hours of energy in the battery pack. Mm -hmm. um, that's enough to get us down the track and do all the things that we need to do. We're discharging all of that energy in only a few seconds, essentially. Wow. So, what would run a house or two for a whole day, we, we use in about five seconds. That's brilliant. So, um, this vehicle is going to get up to over 600 kilometers that's per our goal. hour within yep. well, how we, many we, seconds? Uh, within four seconds or five seconds, seconds to that speed, yeah. So hopefully to about 530 kilometres an hour in three and a half seconds or so. Yeah. Uh, then we need to get to a longer racetrack. That will be on the quarter mile. Um, we'd like to uh, do some runs on asphalt runways at the airports. Yep. Uh, there's a couple of runways around Western Australia. You have to get Australia. special permission yes, for that. Yes, got to get permission to do that. Um, and then once we have a little bit more length of road, we can bring the car to speed a bit more slowly in acceleration. But yep. uh, then hopefully cap off at half a second the sound. Half the speed of sound is 612 kilometers an hour, so that's all that's all got. That's absolutely brilliant. And I understand and what I've learned a lot about is that um, what's really revolutionary about all of this isn't so much the batteries, but it's the drivetrains of the vehicles. So you've designed a drivetrain for this. It's all car? of the above. So the drivetrain is the batteries into the controllers and into right. the motor. I think the pinnacle of our technology is the motor, so it's okay. completely designed in-house and assembled in-house. Um, it's, it's, nothing on this car is off the shelf, essentially, so we've set out on this mission uh, to develop the technology and then to test it in the race car. Um, you can bolt things off the shelf, there's plenty of bits and pieces um, out there in the markets, uh, but this car is 5,000 horsepower, you know, 4 megawatts of energy, and we're building a race car, it's got to be light, it's got to be nimble and, and, and that's what makes it quick so you can't bolt a very very large motor in it make the car weigh three tons and then you think you're going to go fast it's got to be lightweight so a lot of aerospace engineering at every level um, to get those energy densities uh, up high which means basically keeping the mass very low and keeping the power very high and i understand you're looking at you know some materials like kevlar so we're working on yes. kevlar yep, yep. so that the battery uh, enclosures are being molded now uh, we've been moulding wings for the car out of Kevlar and changing some of the aerodynamics. Um, so there's a lot of updates that are constantly going on too. Uh, you think you are going one way and you start preparing and then you realise you can make some improvements and I think that's just a testament to spending a lot of time in this engineering space, mm. so taking our time doing this. 
uh, you do it once, you do it right. And I think it's a 10 year journey now for us. So how does it feel to get to this point? Really good. The last yes. few months have been fantastic. Um, the team has grown. We've got some amazing people on the team doing all sorts of things at all sorts of levels. Um, we're really starting to see progress in the engineering side and the production side. So uh, that's where we're at. We're here to build a facility, a testing facility, an R&D facility, all of our uh, technology, which has other implications in other industries, and that's all growing. Um, we've recently, over the last several months, we've uh, split the company up into two. So, oh, so now we have Top EV Racing, it's the race car, uh, and Hyper Power Technologies is the um, intellectual property and all of the batteries, motors, charging systems, controllers. That's brilliant. And this is all going to be so important moving you know, into this new battery future. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so what do you think is the most special thing about what you've done? Building the team and the people. Brilliant. Bringing the passionate. Um, and the team is not just the team that works here. It's the team is our partners, our sponsors, our, our market channels, and where we're headed with all of, all of that. So. I find that's exciting because I see the passion growing to others. When I see the passion coming from others back to this project, for me, for me, not to say that it's ever mundane because it certainly isn't, but over many, many years, I suppose maybe you do become a little bit desensitised. So it's nice to, to see the passion in others and the excitement in others and uh, we're, we're heading in the right direction. So in terms of sponsors, I know uh, that was something you were looking for the last time you spoke. Yeah. Um, so how has that come along? Have you gotten a lot more sponsors? Yes. Interesting sponsors? Certainly. Interesting Certainly. Um, companies? Certainly do, yeah. So our sponsors have, have stayed, our initial sponsors have been with us for a while now. Mm -hmm. They've stayed with us and, and are on this journey with us. Um, in the last uh, several months, we've got three more that we're about to announce. Um, uh, a lot of their assistance is in some of the components and technologies outside of what we're achieving. Um, so by having uh, those technical partners with their expertise in certain areas, uh, it's fantastic. And then that's essentially what builds a project. It's never one person or one, or one pair of hands, it's many, and it's many minds. Um, so we've set up a facility, we've set up a, a production house, an R&D house, um, race car parts and tech, and everything is melding together. And, and, uh, uh, I suppose the vision is becoming um, more congruent. It's um, uh, we understand how all the applications match. We're very focused on race car for a long time there, um, and there's other industries that can use our technology. Um, and so it's good to see the advances we've made with a racing hat on and with a racing mind and an aerospace mind um, has those other implications to other areas. Fantastic. So, how about if we go over and take a walk and look at your first project, yep. your, your sound project. Oh, okay, let's do that. So, let's yep. go do that. So, Michael, this is your first project. Can you tell the audience, what is this? Well, this actually wasn't the first project. Um, uh, this was my company, Sounds Explosive, uh, for 15 years. Um, actually, probably nearly 20 years, actually, in total. So uh, this was a project that I uh, built about, sorry, 15 years ago. And uh, this was uh, the coming together of um, uh, interesting class in Carwood called Monster Class, which was a class that had no rules, essentially. So instead of building a Carwood system in a car, we thought we'd build a vehicle. So we went to Bunnings and got a uh, name drop. Went to Bunnings and got a, a wheelbarrow for forty nine dollars. I remember. Oh my God, that's a wheelbarrow. That's a wheelbarrow and a sack trolley for twenty nine. <laughs> and then uh, you're looking at about a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment and time and energy. So uh, essentially, it's a forty thousand watt RMS sound system. That was four hundred kilos of batteries that drive the amplifiers. That all drive into one custom twelve inch subwoofer, uh, and that's cryogenically cooled. And uh, this set four Australian and world records throughout its time. And it was retired in 2009 when I basically transitioned to, to top EV racing. So um, it, it was, a, it was a, a whimsical project, a fun project, but really it's the passion of physics that, that I'm addicted to. And so as much as it's novel by its look, it's really a test dyno machine, it's a dynamometer. Um, so we can make, well, when I was building the speakers and electromagnetic technology in there, so basically designed a repeatable test facility for it. So when we made improvements, we could have direct results. So um, it does drive, it's, it's got a pocket racer motor at the front, it's got, uh, it used to have nitrous oxide on it for uh, cooling the speaker initially and also running into the motor. So the little thing did burnouts as well, so it was, it was good fun, it was a lot of good fun. 
I just didn't realise how relevant it was going to be many years later. Yeah. Uh, batteries, amplifiers, electromagnetic speakers, is batteries, controllers, and electromagnetic motor in the race car. So, so did you drive this around the neighbourhood? Yeah. <laughs> Got videos of it. Yeah. Yeah. And the car shows. Yeah. Really loud. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant. There you go. A little bit of history. So thank you very much for joining in our show. And as you can see, we've got some really great stuff here. And pay attention uh, because as Michael said, we will be having um, some more shows coming up with the uh, actual drag car on the road. So we'll, we'll be uh, filming that and, and bring that to you. And for those of you who haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. Excellent. And please go to topev.racing and subscribe there as well and follow our journey on social media and uh, drop a line and say good day. Thank you.